Greetings friends! It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush. I'm very excited today because I am painting the second in my series of the um, English Tea Roses. And this one I've made quite the grouping from photographs that I took of these sweet little roses in a shopping center. <laughs> hey, you take pictures of things that strike you wherever you find them. And as you can see, I'm first putting on a light wash. I'm using Winsor & Newton colors. I, I like them. They're affordable. I, I can manage it on my budget. And um, I'm using them out of a tube and on a glass plate that I got from a thrift store because I am quite cheap. <laughs> You can almost see the glass plate over there um, on the right, just the edge of it. I'm using, um, see it is permanent rose for the pink, uh, cadmium, cadmium yellow and cadmium orange for the oranges. A purple lake for the purple and also a diazonine violet for the deep shadows. This is the second layer as you can see I let the first layer dry and then I put on a second layer that makes the color deeper and richer. I love that uh, that uh, cadmium yellow very very rich like liquid sunshine. I've also got a little bit of um, of lemon yellow. Now, lemon yellow is more of a a cool yellow rather than a warm yellow. But I think it the two yellows together sort of they work together. I didn't use a lot of it. As you can see, I'm covering most of it with my my cadmium yellow. I'm also using a very little bit of alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson, crimson is also a very uh, warm purpley red that um, adds to the shadows and not necessarily to the reds and the pinks. Um, so I'm kind of going sparingly with that particular yellow, or yeah, that particular red. I'm looking at the yellows. <laughs> I liked this grouping. It kind of makes a little bit of an S curve, and um, and I was enjoying the the curve, the crescent look of it. I'm so happy to have my computer back. You just can't imagine what it was like not having your computer. You really get used to <laughs> the devices that that you have around. And this one um, is a good seven years old, I realize, but it has served me well and didn't give me a bit of grief really until just recently when it when it crashed on me and all it was was just one of those little tiny um, units that needed to be micro soldered apparently but you know how Apple is they want to replace the entire um, magnetic motherboard Which is interesting because my thought is they probably fix that little micro circuit and resell it as a refurbished uh, motherboard. I would if I were a business person that would make sense.
And so there it is. It's all finished. My little grouping of my tea roses. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Do come again and check out my links below. I have one to Patreon and to the books that I have written also. Do come again. Bye now.